today I'm going to eat the most broken fruit for PvP right now and that fruit in my opinion is the Zushi Zushi no Mi or the gravity fruit. I'm quite reluctant to eat this fruit at first because as you guys might not know, Pika is the very first fruit that I ever ate and how I got it is quite a story. I got it when I became MVP in the dungeons for the very first time against 4 teammates with 2 of them having a devil fruit which are Mera and Bomb. I wasn't even max level at that time and I don't know how I got MVP but literally after I saw what I got I ate it immediately and my friend which was the Bomb said that the Mera guy was fuming at me because it was his dream fruit but Putting all that aside, I'm going to eat the sushi fruit and try if it's really good. So, sounds good. Let's go. We are here at Alabasta so that the lighting isn't awful. <coughs> Freaking thriller bark. I'm just gonna eat this dark fruit and... Yeah, bye bye to Pika. But... It is the most broken fruit in PvP. Let's eat it and have a swing on the zombies if it's worth it. So yeah, after eating the fruit, I just practice a bit with the zombies, finding out what combos are. And let me tell you, just by practicing, this fruit's combos looks good. After fiddling with the fruit for quite a while, I tried it in arena immediately and this really happened. Let's see how it turned out. Okay, it's a bomb user. Lagging is so bad. What? Server has shut down? What the hell, man? What the fuck? For you, this fixed the game. Moving on. I tried Elio Hammer for the second game to get the feel of what weapons works best for this group. Oh, nice! Why do you have that though? For the third game, I just got Soul Cave from a trade and tried using it because a lot of people say that this weapon is a top 5 weapon right now and I want to see how it goes with the fruit.
Oh no. He just said what is this shit? Oh no. Oh no. This time I'ma try the scythe. And this game I didn't talk too much because I was really try hiding against this Mago Gauntlet user. I don't know why, but oh well. Nice! Yo, the fuck is that? But when that happens, when my cooldown fucking doesn't show up, bro, like, I don't know when my fucking pull is up or my push is up, like, bro, come on. For the last match, I went back on the soul cane because I feel like this weapon is a really really good match for the Zushi. Might be yours. I don't know what the Oh yes, Goro. Yeah, just one pull and you're dead. I'm sorry. I think this is more broken than Yomi. Because Yomi, you need a good like. What the fuck is that? Then I tried doing a little bit of dungeon. Then this happened. Oh 
No! I'm dead, bro. I'm. Can I get an F in the comments, please? That's all the matches so far. As far as I can tell, this is really one of, if not the best fruit for PvP. Combos were easy to land, and it has a very, very low cooldown, especially the pull. The only downside that I could think of is that the guard break is not that good and it's super slow. I think a weapon with a good guard break or a fast one is a very good pair with this fruit, but overall, I give this fruit a solid 10 out of 10, not 11, because this fruit is really good. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video.